All right, guys, for the next part of this, um, I know that the overhead position is one of the most daunting squats that we can do. A lot of it has uh, less to do with your stability and more to do with your mobility. If you're not moving correctly, if your muscles aren't firing and functioning the way that they should, you're gonna have a hard time finding a comfortable position to allow the weight trick to transfer from over your head to your toes, okay? So, a little piece of information too. If, if you're cruising around the internet and you're looking for good places, if you're not watching K-Star's videos on YouTube, you're doing yourself a disservice. Definitely has some of the best mobility techniques that you can do. So take a look on his page on YouTube. But for right now, you're watching my video, so listen to everything that I have to say, because it's definitely the most important thing. So what we're gonna do, and this is something that you can come in and test, what we're gonna try and do is a two hand together overhead squat. And what we're gonna do is have Diana turn this way. And I want you to pay a couple, of, pay attention to a couple of things here. First thing, watch her trunk and then watch her arm positioning. So she's gonna start with a perfect squat position, hands are over her head, okay? So she's straight right now, nice straight line. Now watch as she goes down the position of the bar and how her back is part of that. So go. Great, now come up. Now do a wide grip. Okay, so you see forward trunk lean position, her head's leading forward. She's losing her body's ability to stabilize the weight comfortably overhead. So anything that's gonna get heavy is gonna get superior amounts of challenge. So what we're gonna do is a couple of minutes of, just a couple of minutes of mobility to loosen up some of the muscles that are gonna help you support the weight in a proper function. First thing we wanna work on are her, her erectors, okay? The erectors are a group of muscles that start basically to not get too physiological about it. Down here, and they go all the way up here. There are bands of muscle that run parallel up the side of your back in the middle of your spine. They're called erector muscles because they do just that. They hold your body in an erect position. They have a lot of other functions, but let's know that we need to work on getting these loosened up. First line of defense, we always go to the foam roller. If the foam roller doesn't work, we try to do some obscure stretch. That doesn't work. Look for the double ball. If you don't know what this is, please talk to one of the coaches. This will definitely help you work out. You're gonna start here, you're gonna work straight down to the middle of your back. On your back, two or three minutes. Try and get it loosened up, okay? Once you feel comfortable with that, the magic muscle, the pec. Get the pec minor loosened up. You can do the band stretch that we just showed you. You can do the tennis ball with the stick, or if you're feeling froggy enough, you're gonna take this, you're gonna directly lay right on the ground, you're gonna put this into your pec, and then you're gonna create motion, okay? You wanna do movement in your arm, back, forward, and around, as you're laying on it on your stomach, all right? So we're gonna have Diana do about three to four minutes of mobility on the three things we just showed you. Again, first thing, laying on your back with the double lacrosse ball and rolling down it. Second thing, gonna be working out the pec minor, either using the stick or the double ball. We'll come back in a minute and see how she did. All right guys, so Diana finish up on her upper body mobility, working on the overhead position. Again, we're gonna start with hands together squat, lock overhead, try and see if we can change the angle at which the bar path goes. Now in a perfect world, you'd be able to keep that bar straight overhead from top to bottom. Unfortunately, we live in a world of dysfunction, Sitting at a desk or driving a car for eight to 10 hours a day doesn't really support good movement. So, a couple minutes of work here, let's see what we change. Up, obviously a better position. Bar still leaning forward, still has a lot of work. We could probably start in our upper traps, keep working on the lats to keep the bar coming forward. But overall, you see an improvement with just a few minutes of mobility. Let's try the overhead position. Great. So, one thing you're gonna notice with Diana is her squat position is pretty good, but we see a break in her, her uh, thoracic and upper body straight forward. So what we're gonna work on in the next episode is dealing with some of the things that are slowing you down here, which are gonna change the angle at which you might squat, push your knees into a bad position, push your feet into a bad position, collapsing your ankles and rolling. So again, in the next one, we're gonna talk more about lower body stability and mobility. Today, again, just to recap, 
you want to work on loosening up the pec minor, loosening up the erector muscles in the back, the lats, okay? Creating a better upright position, also working on the triceps to maintain the bar. The one thing that I can tell you guys is see you come in, we're doing a lot of the same stretches all the time and we're trying to expect a different result. That's the definition of insanity, okay? If you're still finding that your upright position for your front rack is not where it needs to be or your overhead squat is still suffering and you're doing the same stretches, come see me, come see another coach and we'll talk about working on some new mobility tactics for you. Hope you guys took something away from this. If you have any questions, let me know. You can always shoot me an email um, or just come talk to me at the gym. Thanks guys.